Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. FIFA 23 is right around the corner, and today we're going to answer a very important question. How to start your FIFA 23 Ultimate Team in the best way possible. We're going to look through the basics of starting at the very beginning, choosing your starter nation, all the way through what you should do when you first get on to the game through the web app or to the game itself, looking through packs, SBCs, market and trading. We're going to talk about it all today to give you the best start of FIFA 23. So if you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's get right into it because there are two ways people will be starting their ultimate teams this year. A lot of us will be starting with the web app and regardless whether you start on the web app or whether you start with actually getting the full game on console or pc it's not that big of a difference these same methods will work for either way but we have this news about the fifa 23 web app coming out on september 21st this was confirmed by a community manager just yesterday september 16th the foot 22 web app is going to shut down and it'll be revamped and remade for fifa 23 that will come out on September 21st. The web app will be the first chance we have to get into FIFA 23 Ultimate Team as confirmed here by this post. If you want to take a look at this web page and want to know if you're going to be able to get on the FIFA 23 web app, make sure you click the link down below in the description. I'm going to put this web page link talking about all of the things in here. It, it talks about, of course, the returning user rewards, accounts that are in good standing. So to even know if you can get on the web app, check that link in the description. But let's get into it. First, we're going to start with how do you even get on the web app? On the 21st, when the web app comes online, it should be around 6 p.m. UK or the content drop time in FIFA. That should be when the web app starts to open up. If you're coming in on console for the first time, of course, I think the game is going to be dropping at midnight, whatever your time frame is, whatever your location is. The full game release on the 27th and the 30th of September should be at midnight on your location, whatever time zone you're in. But first time you log into FIFA, what you're going to see is, after you sign in, and of course, make sure you sign in, remember your password, all those good things, you're going to see a, a, a screen like this, where you'll choose your starter nation, and a lot of people put way too much thought and emphasis into this. Honestly, any of these that you pick is going to be fine. There's a couple standout favorites that a lot of people like to lean towards. England, Brazil, France, Germany, and Spain, in my opinion, are some of the top five. They give you some of the best fodder cards in terms of the bronzes and silvers to choose to help you figure out some of those early let's get started or advanced SBCs in the early game. So any of those five nations, but really any of these in here will be just fine. Then you're going to have to go on, of course, and take your kits and you're going to end up having a screen like this. Uh, you'll pick a lone player as well. It'll show you your starting 11 and all that stuff that you chose. These screens don't really matter that much. What matters is what you do after this. And by the way, these are FIFA 22 screenshots, not FIFA 23, but it should be the exact same when you load into your ultimate team for the very first time. Now let's talk about when you get into the web app, right? You get into the web app for the very first time, you refresh it, or you get into the game for the first time and you're in. You've done all that stuff, you're in FIFA Ultimate Team. What should you do? The first thing you should do is what everybody would want to do, right? Go open some packs for the new FIFA. And as they mentioned in this little article here, again, link down below in the description, if you've played um, on the same platform in the previous years or previous year or years in FIFA, you might have some welcome back packs or returning user rewards. And those will automatically be in the store for you to open up open those right away because in the past they have been tradable packs they've been pretty good value and depending on how long you've played fifa on this certain account you might have more packs than other people so again link to some of that information is in here in this web app kind of description web page but open those packs right away because if you want to do anything on the game you need to have coins right that's that's one of the biggest things you need to have is coins to get things done so you'll open your packs Oh, wow. Look at what we have here. We have a Tots Quadrado because this is still FIFA 22 and there's special cards and packs. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to have to sell some cards and you're going to have to quick sell some cards because the most important thing right away to get is some coins, right? You're going to have a few cards in the club, but opening these packs will help you get coins to go and then do the SBCs. That's going to be our first kind of emphasis, right? Get in open packs, and then you're going to go do some SBCs to get you some more packs to hopefully pack some good stuff. And then you can start trading and all that stuff from after that. But what I would say, and some of my best advice just from being on the market in the early game is 
it's all about getting coins fast, right? So don't be afraid to quick sell players like this right back from Japan, you know, in the early game is probably not going to sell for very much. I mean, he's not a very popular league or nation for some of those advanced or even very basic SBCs. This would be a card that I would not hesitate to quick sell, take my 200 coins and move on. Now, if you pack a guy like a Jerome Boateng, you know, he might sell being 82 rated, might sell for a couple thousand coins, that kind of card, it is great to sell. And then all the other useless consumables especially if it's like kits and stuff you know maybe a chemistry style you save if it's a really good one because it could go up in the future but most of this stuff i would just say is quick sell it honestly i would quick sell it because you're going to be able to get contracts and especially if you're on the web app you're not going to be playing any games right because you literally can't only the web app is live from september 21st so i would not be afraid to quick sell stuff at all um and I would hesitate to put stuff on your transfer list and wait for it later to like hold it as an investment because if that's the case, here's a little bit of a trick. Let's say you open up FIFA 23 web app and you pack an icon or a team of the week card from team of the week one that drops on the Wednesday of the web app. Here's a little bit of a trick. If you quick sell that card, like let's say I pack an icon, it's quick sell value is like 60K or whatever it is for an icon. You can quick sell that card, which seems crazy. Quick sell that card for 60,000 coins, get those coins right away, go and trade, go and do other SBCs with those coins that you got, build your coin balance up, and in the quick sell, quick sell recovery, uh, which is one of the tabs here on the web app, which is new, if you guys did not know this, you can recover players that have been quick sold in the past seven days. So an icon obviously is going to be worth a lot more than quick sell at the beginning of the game. But if you quick sell the card, that gets you those coins right away that then you can go out and make more coins with, then buy your icon back after you've made some more coins so that you're not just like broke from not having any coins and, and trying to uh, trade with an icon that's worth a lot of money on your transfer list or a team of the week card that's worth some on your transfer list. Uh, and then you have no other coins to work with. So that's kind of a little bit of a hack, I guess you could say. Uh, if that happens to you, that's a that's a great thing. That's great. So just kind of keep that in mind. But for most people that don't pack an icon or an inform or a really high value player, just look to sell a few of the ones that sell. And then, you know, send some to the club. If it's a nation, like if it goes with your starter nation, there's no problem with sending some items to the club um, because they might help you out with some of those advanced SBCs as well. Just kind of think about that too. Uh, kind of just work the balance. But that's kind of the focus, right? You go in and you open up those packs and you get as many coins as possible and maybe some players in the club as well. Then you're going to go straight to the SBC section. Now, the only SBC you're going to be able to do at first is called the Let's Get Started. And it's three different squads, I believe. Now, I believe this is not 100% confirmed, but I can mention this because I know that people played the beta. They were EA content creators that were partnered with EA that played the beta and the beta chemistry on the SBCs was different, right? New chemistry system in FIFA 23, but the squads and the formations of the SBCs were the exact same as they are in FIFA 22. So the let's get started SBC should still be really easy. Even the hybrid leagues and some of the other advanced SBCs as we call them are gonna be similar in terms of difficulty. It'll just be a new way to figure them out and get them done with that new chemistry system. So. That's what's going to be like our next course of action, if you will. You're going to have to get this Let's Get Started SBC done. It's three segments. You get that done. You get a two-player pack. Open all the packs you get from that. And then what you're going to do is go into some of the more advanced ones. I would say right away, look for hybrid leagues, hybrid nations, and the hybrid league and nation SBC because both of these give you really good packs, right? A rare mega pack for the final reward. The around the world SBC gives you a 50K pack, by the way, all these are tradable. And think about it in the early game, a 50K pack that's tradable in the first couple of days of FIFA is such a good pack because you have the potential to pack cards that are 78 to 85 rated that are, you know, lower rated gold cards that are very meta. Think about like an Eder Militao or, you know, think about somebody maybe like a Marcus Rashford who would probably go for over 10,000 coins, 20,000 coins. And, you know, you're probably paying about, you know, less than 20K for every single one of these SBCs. You get it done, you get some really good packs back and you have the potential to, to, to really get some money back. So there is a little bit of gambling involved with this because you're going and opening more packs and you're relying on the pack luck and the pack weight to get you better cards. But I still think 
nine times out of 10, you're going to make profit from this. And at least you're going to come out even and you get to open some packs in the meantime. And you'll get to learn. Like, you learn stuff. Watch what you have to turn into these SBCs while you're doing them. See what kind of cards you run into when looking stuff up on the market. If you have to buy a couple players to get this done, especially with the new chemistry requirements and everything, or if you have to buy a lot of position changes, take note of that as you're doing these early on SBCs. It'll all be a brand new experience for us at the start of FIFA 23 anyway. So that'll be one thing to watch out for. And you might even learn, okay, hey, I saw that Brazil center backs or that Portuguese center backs were going for a decent amount of coins on the market while I was looking to buy one for one or two of these SBCs. That may be a place where I can trade here pretty soon once I get these packs done. So those are one of the first things that I would tell you guys to do. And we're going to dive deeper into this and look at more of the SBC solutions and talk about trading and making coins with these SBCs specifically a lot in a couple of future videos on the channel. So make sure you subscribe and look ahead for those um, if that is uh, something that you're interested in. But after you get those done, you're going to have some coins. Now it's time to get on the market and do a little bit of trading. Or if you just wanna skip everything with the SBCs and leave that gamble for a little bit later, I'd recommend at least trying a couple of the SBCs, but uh, if you wanna go straight to the market, you can absolutely do that as well. And here's the interesting thing. If you're playing and getting onto the game like a lot of us are gonna be during the web app time, there's nothing to do on the game except for maybe start to build some sort of a squad or just do SBCs. Like that's really all you're gonna be able to do because like, again, we said, there's no EA 10 hour early access trial that's happening at the same time as the web app is live from September 21st until September 26th. All we can do is be on the web app, build our squads and do SBCs. So that limits a lot of your demand on the market. And especially when you think about trading and trying to make coins in the early stages, it's gonna be a bit interesting. Um, and I think there's a couple other factors here that will make it even more interesting, which I'll talk about in a second. But speaking of market and trading, all the demand is going to be around those SBCs. Think about your bronze, your silver, and your gold cards from the top nine nations and some of the top five leagues and even beyond that. Just look through, again, as you're doing those SBCs, look through some cards that are just a bit up in price. And especially focus on your top nine nations. Like I'm going to go to Brazil, English. Um, let's see. Brazil. No, sorry, not Brazil. Bronze center back from England. That's what I wanted to see here. Just, just something to take a look at, right? So it looks like bronze cards. And if you think about it in the early game, like bronze cards are, are going to be packed a decent amount from those really low tier packs. They're also going to be in demand a lot for people doing SBCs. So just hunt around on places on the market. Center backs are always really, really good ones to look for because they are needed for high chemistry, especially this year. People are going to need center backs. So whether it's bronze cards, whether it's silver cards, try to find some sniping filters on the market with players from different positions from top nine nations, whether it's bronze, silver, or gold, there's all, there's going to be tons of opportunity to find cards that sell, right? You're going to want to try to find a card that sells for maybe around a thousand coins or more and try to win that card on bid on snipe, right? It's, it's the grind time. I've been using this example. This is a guy that I made hundreds of thousands of coins off of. I, I can't say millions quite because it, I stopped trading with these guys after I got sick and tired of trading with gold cards after like the second week of the game. But, you know, this guy, it was a thousand coins at the start of the year. I was buying a bunch of them for like 800 coins and I would sell them for like 3K in a matter of 12 hours because of one big thing inside of the SBCs. And I think it's gonna be a really, really big part of SBCs this year is the SBC solutions. And Footbin, Footwiz, but specifically Footbin is gonna be a great site to use if you're looking to trade and make coins on SBC Solutions, so many people are gonna to come to this website, click on these links and say, okay, how do I do the whole nine yards SBC? They're gonna click on completed challenges and they're gonna click on the cheapest SBC that shows up at the top, right? And what you're gonna to wanna to do is go in here and look on Footbin at these prices. So like I would look at this left mid Babel card. He is 1.3K on the market, right? So then I would go back to the web app and I would say, okay, Footbin says this Babel is 1.3K on the market. Is that true? It actually is. He's 1.3 thousand coins, right? But a lot of times what you see is the SBCs that are at the top are actually the ones that are 
their players are selling for more than what the cards say in the SBC because everybody is looking at that cheapest SBC and just going and blindly buying the players while Flippin has not yet updated their prices where see updated 38 minutes ago there's a lot of lag time especially in the beginning of the game when Flippin is figuring out the new servers and everything like that so there's a lot of lag time in there and prices don't update very fast so what you have is a lot of fluctuations because Babel's price may go up or a card that's in the solution may go up in price as people are going out and they're following that solution blindly and buying those players. But when the prices refresh and you know, these prices actually show that they're higher, another squad is going to come in. And maybe one of the squads down here with completely different players, which this one requires loyalty, which is not good, uh, but it's completely different players might show up at the top of the list. Their prices are going to start going up as people that are doing the SBC follow that solution. So that's a basics on SBC solution trading on Footbin, and it's a fantastic way to make coins. And it works for literally the first couple of weeks on the game. It works so, so, so well. And there's going to be tons of players to look into that with. Again, as I mentioned, more videos coming on this and how to trade with these sorts of cards. But that's going to be honestly like the best way to trade in the early game. You'll, st you'll still be able to change with some position change cards. Like if you figure out that, especially with the new way they do position changes in FIFA uh, this year, let's find like a gold common, maybe a, a right back or something from the Premier League that can be positioned to a center back. Like let's just say that Cedric has a secondary position in FIFA 23 that you can make him a... Um, a center back, right? That would make his card maybe more valuable as a center back if Premier League center backs, especially Portuguese ones, would sell more than the right back version of his card. So you could still do some position change trading inside of the whole SBC realm as well. It's just honestly the best way to describe it is it's going to be a grind. You're going to be flipping players on small budgets, just trying to build your coins up to potentially make an investment later on before the full game gets released and before people start building teams, right? That's going to be the grind period over the five days or the six days of the web app is build up as many coins just through quick flips and trading as you can, but it's going to be highly competitive. And, you know, I also think there could be an added variable this year. And if you notice, I'm going to move my face cam here for a second. You will notice that up here in the top right, that there is a plus button that you can actually add FIFA points on the web app. This was something that was new in FIFA 22. And one of the only reasons I think why EA has kind of created this gap in FIFA 23 in the early stages of the access is if the web app comes out on the 21st and we can't get on the game until the 27th, I think EA is going to allow people to buy FIFA points on the web app at the start in FIFA 23. I think it's going to be possible. And what that would also do at the same time is it would bring a lot of supply to the market as a, not a lot of people are building teams. Think about some of your gold cards, very meta ones. Maybe guys like, I think we've mentioned his name already, like Eder Militao. You know, his card on the market might be getting packed and not a lot of people are, are buying cards to build teams. What they're really trying to do is sell the cards so they can get coins and get more players in their team. Or maybe another Real Madrid center back. Antonio Rudiger would be a good option of a card that maybe gets packed a decent amount and has a pretty low price. I just think that it would change the web app stage this year so much if there are going to be FIFA points available. And it's not a guarantee because this is something that's never happened before. But just so that you're aware, what we're going to be looking out for for a hint on this is when you click this plus button, it takes you to the PlayStation Store. And right now, it only shows you FIFA 22 stuff in the store. There's a good tweet here that kind of shows what's there. It only shows FIFA 22 FIFA points. But of course, when the FIFA 22 web app goes away, we're going to have to check the PlayStation Store and see... If there are FIFA 23 FIFA points available in there, then that means you will be able to buy FIFA points on the, the web PlayStation store on the web app. And then that will give people that want to open packs the opportunity to just go out and open a bunch of packs. So that might be one of the biggest changes ever to the web app period this year. And it's going to be something that could drastically impact the market and make a ton of changes. But as you see here, like even two um, Brazilian bronze cards. Like these are perfect examples of the types of players that you are going to want to trade in and with during those early stages of the web app or on the game for the first time if you do get the game and getting your club off of the ground. Now, just a couple final tips on the web app, whether you're logging in for the first time there or on console, this is specifically for the web app though. Turn on the app authenticator option in your settings 
And for two-factor authentication, instead of getting a text message on Wednesday the 21st when all of this madness happens and everybody is sitting here refreshing and F5-ing their web app page to get into the FIFA 23 web app, if you have the app authenticator set up to verify your identity, it'll be way faster than the tech service that'll probably be bogged down by so many people trying to log in. So make sure you have that turned on. Make sure you remember your username and your password and stuff like, and stuff like that. Uh, and to log in on that day one and also just kind of remember that like it's just a new year this year with the new chemistry system There's a lot to learn. It's a cross-platform market It's the first time ever for cross-platform in that aspect as well So there's gonna be a whole lot that we'll be learning on the fly this year But it's gonna be an absolute blast and I really feel like what we just talked about in this video will give you guys a a heads up and a really good step on making the most efficient start to your FIFA ultimate team possible whether it's on the web app or on the game once you do those welcome back SBCs and start trading that's when the whole world opens up and when you add gameplay into the mix after the game is released then we just start going we start building and you know creating those insane ultimate teams that we end up having looking like crazy 99 rated cards at the end of the year which we are just transitioning out of of course into a new year of FIFA so if this video was at all helpful to you make sure you hit the thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions and if of course subscribe if you are new there's a lot more fifa 23 videos and news to come we're going to talk about some of the best ways to use your free 4600 fifa points because those should not be dropped on the web update those will be dropped at a later date probably the 27th we're going to talk about trading market making coins all of that good stuff in so many videos soon we haven't dove too deep yet into the details on some of the trading and some of the sbcs and stuff don't worry we will but if you again enjoyed the video hit the thumbs up it has been nate the foot account and i will catch you guys later peace